Hey guys, this is an update on my cave base design and the reason I put an update in is because with the old entrance uh, you could actually force another player through if you jumped on top of them and uh, wedged them into the door. So the new design takes, uh, uh, takes care of that so you can't do it and I also added more uh, side stability into the walls so that uh, you can't go out around the honeycombing. All right, so let's take a look. So you come inside and it's a low push through. Now up here, because of the uh, how small this hallway is, you can actually put uh, turrets up here that would cover most of this hallway. And if you put turrets over on this side as well, it would actually give you a nice big defendable place. Especially since you can run electricity into this. Uh, I've got a video on that. Uh, I'll link that in the uh, description. So, you're just going to let that door push you through. And when you go to leave, it's just the opposite. All right, so here we got a couple drop boxes by the door. Come into the downstairs area, loot room here. And another loot room here. over here and we've got uh, two mixing tables some more storage and up above is our refinery then in here we have eight furnaces so you can easily reach all of them a couple small storage rooms just for added drop junk. Couple more mixing tables. A little more storage everywhere. And it brings us to the vault. Now the vault is a peek through vault, the same as the last one. So you wedge in between these two triangles and aim at it. And you can pick up the box here. Then there's a box down below. So you just push forward. And you're able to get that. And if you look up a little bit, there's your TC. So you can see it's 4,325 metal frags and 39 high quality metal upkeep. So it's a very reasonable upkeep. And it's a very strong base to get into. So the entrance is 15 rockets. Uh, the vault is 15 rockets. And then you have one, two, three, uh, three metal walls, which would be 21 plus another armored wall, which would be 36. So 66 rockets to do a straight shot through. And it's comparable anywhere in the base. Oh. So if uh, you do build this base and you find that you have extra high qual though, you can high qual these walls and that'll up the uh, raid cost as well. Okay, well, I hope you like the base and uh, anyone tries it out, they should just tell me. I'd like to see some pictures of it or vid or whatever. Uh, and now let's go to the build. Okay, so I've placed a few fires around just to make it easier to see the build. 
And the most important part is this first foundation. Now you want it to have it coming over to your left a bit. And just out a little bit. You can uh, you can see how I did it. The angle's a little bit off of this. Should be able to place that. And then place your triangles. You can tell that you've gotten it correctly when you can place these three triangles at the back. Now we're going to place the garage door. You want the roller coming towards you. That way the lock goes on the right hand side so you don't have to place it so it's not within the rock over there. Go and then we'll just do the bunker. So, for the bunker, you want to place your first box as tight against that back wall as you can, but so you can still make this wall and of course lock it and we'll put the TC over towards the left a bit and right up against that box as well and Oh, before we go any further, we should upgrade. Just so we don't have to come back and do them later. And it'll make it easier for looking through. Go. Oh, goodness. Turn it around so we can see it correctly. That's locked. And there's your vault. So now, if you look forward, you can see the upper box. Down there's the lower. And if you look up, there's the TC. up here and upgrade those as well there we go now What we're going to do is fortify the honeycombing. 
there's a couple places where if you build the wall a little bit differently that uh, someone could actually blow through so that's what we're doing now is just covering that up so there's no easy way to get to the TC like they can't go against the wall Example here. Just tightens it up so that uh, there's no direct line to it. Okay. So this should be that way. And we're just going to honeycomb this whole area. Oh, lovely. So there's a straight wall that's completely uh, metal the whole way through. And then... Eh. We'll actually do the entrance now. So the entrance has changed and... And it's made it so that you can't jump on a teammate to get pushed through. So we're going to want the doors, double doors opening inward. Place a ramp sloping up in that direction. Now we're going to place a fire a little bit to the right so that when we climb up on it, it actually pushes us through. And these double doors, of course, will just push you through. Now we'll also upgrade this this oh I uh, have to get rid of the fire to be able to upgrade this one and I'll go outside afterwards and upgrade the foundation just so it's uh, 15 rockets just to get past the entrance way. Go. So we just made it garage doors will be uh, put in going across here. There we go. So 
So there's your entrance completed. So for every one of the garage doors, make sure that the rollers are pointing away from you. Or towards you from this side. Just so the locks don't glitch into the rocks. Set up two quick loot rooms. And we're going to take out this, and take out this fire, or actually, I think I can, no. There we go, and we'll put this here as an extra little bit of honeycombing as well. place a fire here so it keeps it brightened up a little bit and another one here okay so basically we're done the whole downstairs and we'll just do the upstairs Oh. Sorry, that one wasn't uh, placing quite correctly. And that one's really unimportant. So now this is going to be walls to here. And then we're going to continue the honeycombing. The same as we did down downstairs. Till here. So back over here, this area, we're going to throw two uh, mixing tables. They don't have to be, oh actually, sorry, put the garage doors in first. And then two mixing tables. They don't have to be perfectly straight. They're not going to fit in correctly if you try to keep them straight, so. And here we're going to put our refinery which most people don't know, but you can actually place them into the ceilings of caves, 
and use them no problem. And you can glitch up through the bottom so you don't have to worry about that. Let's place our furnaces. This will be our furnace room. So you can place them quite far into the rock. There we go. So we got seven furnaces put in. I uh, guess we can fit an eighth here. all these garage doors it really doesn't matter which way the uh, which way the rollers are pointing because you can get at both sides of the lock so and we're going to place two more mixing tables over here Now, this time you do have to keep the rollers facing away from you so that it, uh, and how you can tell if they're facing away from you is if you look down at the bottom, if the brown line's showing, then they're facing towards you. If it's not show, oh, whoops. I made an error, sorry. So if the brown line's showing, then it will be over on your left. There we go. And that's about it. It's just a matter now of uh, going around and placing your boxes and decorating. It's not a very hard build. It's, uh, it's extremely similar to the last one that I made. The biggest difference is the entrance has changed and another great thing you can do with the entrance because you can uh, run electricity here is you can put turrets at the top so since you can run electricity into this cave you could quite easily place a turret up there to fully protect this area and if you come over into this area hmm. that's strange it's not letting me place that wall uh, come over into this area and even if you're not doing anything with it mm. 
you could just place more turrets, which means that this whole hallway would be covered. Of course, you would have to uh, at least put a TC in here. But that's for another day. Okay, well, I hope someone finds this useful. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can join me on Discord. And please like and subscribe and comment or do whatever you want to do. All right. Thanks, guys.